I don't think you see many top level guys with a Rolodex of, of starter caddies. Uh, the top level guys all have a guy that's been around a while that knows knows the ropes of the PGA Tour, that knows the ropes of how to talk to a player. Because the, the role of a caddy is, is so much more than carrying a bag and, 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 and giving numbers to distances. It is uh, so much a psychology uh, of, of when to talk, of when to not talk. There, there's just a, it's, it's a real art form to uh, carrying somebody's bag and, and, and knowing what, what are the right buttons to push and when, when is the right time to push them. I grew up and, and dad was very sporty and dad was uh, a very good ping pong player. So when I was old enough, I remember we had a ping pong table on the porch and I wanted to play every night and we would. We would go out every night and play and, and I'd get drilled and drilled and drilled. And at one point I felt like I was definitely a better player than, than dad, but dad always had the mental edge. Just I think as dads do, just could always <laughs> figure out how to how to kind of get the upper hand mentally and, and end up winning winning the games. So that uh, his, his winning streak went probably far longer than it should have <laughs> just because he was a whole lot mentally stronger. I think some of that has helped me in, in kind of becoming a, a, a strong competitor in the game of golf. I think the, the ability to drown out other noise, other any sort of side effects, any, anything else happening doesn't phase me very much. And I think it's because of all the competitions Dad and I had, whether it was ping pong, tennis, golf, you, you name it, there was, there was a competition that was going to happen.